question. The member from Windsor to come see. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Good morning, Premier. Today, we're joined by hundreds of individuals and families that have suffered an injury or illness at work and have been felt uh, let down by the Liberal government's mismanagement of our province's workers' compensation system. The WSIB is supposed to protect our province's most vulnerable. Instead, over the past six years, the Liberal government has been too concerned with bringing down WSIB's $12 million debt and doing so at the cost of those who depend on their benefits to make ends meet. Speaker, when will this Liberal government stop retiring the WSIB's unfunded liability on the backs of injured workers and their families? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member from Windsor Tecumseh for this very important question and for the courtesy he extended me prior to this question. Speaker, all injured workers deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. When those injuries occur, Speaker, we wish they didn't occur. We do everything we possibly can to make sure they don't. When they do occur, people should expect to be treated, as I said, with dignity and respect. So, Speaker, we've been working with the WSIB, I think, in a very progressive way. Just earlier this year, we passed legislation that established the indexation of WSIB benefits to full CPI. We're going to index benefits that, oddly enough, Speaker, were taken away 19 years ago by the very members of the same party. Oh! We reinstated them. Speaker, we listened to the concerns. Part of that respect, part of that dignity, is to make sure we understand the concerns of injured workers. That's why today is so important. What we've done in Bill 109, Speaker, is focus very clearly and precisely on the rights of injured workers in this province. Speaker, we'll continue to do that. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, if life was as good as the minister makes it sound, we wouldn't have hundreds of people on the lawn today saying this is not the case. The truth is, under the Liberal government's watch, those who suffer an injury at work and go to the WSIB for help get attacked on all fronts, including reduced claims, premature return to work, ignoring the advice of medical professionals, and that list goes on and on and on. Amwar Pierre, who was at the rally at Queen's Park today, is a father with a torn rotator cuff from a picking job received through a temp agency. He's unable to work and he struggles to make ends meet because the WSIB has disagreed with his doctor. Speaker, I'll ask again, when will this government stop retiring WSIB's debts on the backs of Anwar and our province's most vulnerable workers. Thank you. Minister. You see it, please? You see it, please? Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you once again to the member from Windsor to come see. He raises a very important question. And, Speaker, that's precisely why this House passed Bill 109 simply to focus on, on improving protections for workers in this province. Speaker, we changed the way that we calculate survivor benefits. We made it an offence now for employers to prevent workers from reporting workplace injuries and illnesses. We've increased the maximum corporate penalty, Speaker, from 100,000 to 500,000. We put in a Fair Practices Commissioner, Speaker, to investigate when people have an issue with the WSAB, they have an ombud to go to, Speaker. It's that simple. You listen to injured workers, you act on their concerns, you make the system work for them. That's exactly what we're doing, Speaker. I'll be proud today to stand before those hundreds of injured workers and talk about the track record of this government, Speaker. It's second to none. This government respects injured workers. This government will ensure that there's practices in place to make sure Answer. they get the respect and the dignity that they receive when they need services from the WSIB. Thank you.